We are at war, fighting uphill battles, but day after wretched day our forces dwindle, as if taken by the empty promises woven by the needle and thread of fulfillment and happiness. As waves of arrows rain down, we brace as if it will hurt less, thinking we are held bound, but refuse to believe we cannot be held down. We wonder if we really have to live this way, if ending it now would somehow prevent us from having to jump into the fray. Who could blame us? Every day we'd fight only to see more of our brothers and sisters fall. Talk about dropping the ball? We were basically getting mauled. Even though if there's a god, we would pray for the strength to climb a little higher, to push a little further, to fight a little longer. As we're greeted with silence, our minds start to wander. We start to daydream and see the world in a brighter light from how it used to seem. Just one voice, that's all it took, just to bring us back into reality, as we see what's worth our mortality. Our enemy is out of nightmares, with hunger that can never be satisfied, only sedated, with claws like daggers but serrated, eyes that give the coldest glare none can compare, and talons like flint setting its wake on fire, with blood like poison but its presence is venomous, thorns for skin, bone like lead, and it's waiting right underneath my bed. Even as a child, my parents told me you didn't exist, but your hunger continued to persist. This burden wasn't just mine to bear, as your legions did the same to countless other poor souls, as if you loved smothering us in hot coals. And that's weird, because your grip was ice cold. Opening my eyes every morning was a blessing, because nothing was as depressing when realizing you aren't guaranteed the gift of tomorrow. That's the hardest pill to swallow. But nothing brought you more joys when you left your victims lifeless, as you cloud the minds of those who were unfortunate enough to find you before help could arrive. But my life is something I cannot be deprived. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. This is another uphill battle, and I'm starting to feel queasy. We're, uh, we're exhausted, and yes, more of us will fall. Just stand tall. We've come this far. There's no reason to turn back now. We were broken at a young age, living our lives not knowing what would happen to us on the next page. We were stripped of our innocence, as if the hardships of reality were its equivalents. I grew up not knowing what it was like to dance in the rain, only curled up in my room trying to mask the pain. I grew up not knowing how to build a snowman, because I the cold reminded me of its nearly suffocating grip. I grew up not knowing how to tell genuine love from empty lies. I grew up knowing hate, forming a state of constant pain that will grow at a constant rate, eventually crushing me under its monumental weight. I grew up not realizing beauty in the world around me until I was at risk of losing it. We were deprived of our childhoods and declined doing all the things a child should. Use that as your motivation to get, to our clo to get closer to our final destination. Even now, it looks down on us from its kingdom of misery like a crazed tyrant and driven to insanity due to the sheer amount of its vanity. This creature needs to face consequences for its crimes against humanity. There's a bounty on its name, and I plan to turn it in with a bow on its head, then the rest know we're not to tread. We've walked in the dark nursing small flames, trying to take back what we still had to our names, constantly building up with what remained, but being torn down with no remorse. But this time our walls are reinforced with foundation of granite, walls made from steel and concrete. I can't be discreet. It's your turn in the hot seat. After what seemed like endless abuse, there is no excuse that can stop our righteous judgment. From the very beginning, odds were against us, and of course we were beaten senseless. But just keep your head in the game and your eyes on the prize. We have everything to lose, but just as much to gain. Even when I try to block out its deafening signals, the voices in my brain start singing melodies of pain that I can feel deep in my veins, as if my sanity is going down the drain. As your cold grip tightens around us, we still refuse to go quietly in the night. You use our minds as if they were a venue where you could place your never-ending orders. But our fear is no longer on the menu. Your supply has run dry. This is where you die. We lay siege to your kingdom and the th and wisdom of things you you've done. We act like warmongers who no longer can allow this borderline genocide. In retrospect, how could we be any better? But reality never played fair, so how should we? We can only end our constant suffering by smothering the very cause. We need to end it at the source. We have to cut the head off a snake for all of our sake. But as snakes do, they slither away. We'll get our chance to settle the score. But this is only a battle. We haven't won the war.